Hi, I'm Tom Rollins and welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today, I'm taking you behind the scenes on what is involved when you're filming a cooking series. We're gonna teach you the fundamentals, lighting, audio, direction, everything that's involved in order to get an awesome looking cooking series out there and in front of your audience. And if you haven't already, please like and subscribe the channel. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Now the first thing you need to think about when filming a cooking series is the location. To speak broadly on this, I think you need to look out for a few key things and that is natural lighting. That is really important. I'm always looking for natural light to be pouring in if we can. The other thing is space. If you want a lot of depth, space, you don't want a tight cooped up kitchen with no room to move. And the other thing to look out for is reflections are the splashbacks, really reflective. Now lighting, this is another really key point when you're filming a cooking series. I would really recommend at least three lights. Two key lights, lights in front of the person speaking and then you would put one behind them or slightly off to the side but trying to get one in behind them for that backlight to pull them off the background and it really gives that professional look. We were lucky enough to have room for a fourth light to light up the, the kitchen itself in the background and, and bring that to life as well. Two lights you might be able to get away with if you've got a lot of natural light beaming in but I would say as a minimum try and get three lights going, two in the front, one behind. The camera setup, it's really important, obviously. We actually operated on a really minimal basis. We just used the two cameras. We had our wide front and center camera setup and that had a 24 mil lens on it. And then we had one slightly off to the side and that was picking up all the details. And that had a 70 to 200 millimeter lens on it. As a starting point, two cameras is great. That's, that's where you'd go. If you wanna make it even more dynamic from there, you could put a camera on top and get that beautiful bird's eye view. You could even bring in a third camera on a different angle just to pick up the details. The sky is the limit. If you look at Jamie Oliver videos, they're incredible and, and they are a huge inspiration for anything that I do with cooking because they're so cinematic, but they look really natural. On this shoot, in between recipes and meals and filming, we will grab the ingredients, take them outside and film some B-roll of it. So important to have this footage to really supplement the main edit. So what I'm looking to get is one shot where it's all in shot and then I'll pick off each individual ingredient and I'll I'll put the uh, aperture right down to get some really shallow shots of that. And I'm just going to get a bit of handheld video too. Sometimes it looks extra natural and really nice. On this Ronin, I like to use this joystick and also move the camera at the same time. It just, it just gives it this really interesting perspective. You don't have to get too tricky on every shot. Just as long as you hold your shot long enough for Kirsty to say in the edit, what it is. Hey everyone, hey there. Hello there and welcome to this episode. Now this is an awesome episode. We're going to unpack nourishing main meals. So this is the fun one. This is all about entertaining and about desserts. This series is really amazing for supporting you in bedding down those basics. The real nitty gritty of all the things that you need to know for your ketogenic journey. Now this program was filmed over four weeks so the set's not going to look exactly Exactly the same every day. What you want to do is have the same framing and just roll with the same style. It was okay if Kirsty was changing clothes each day or each time. That was actually the look we we're going for. But level of consistency is important. Do your best to get the framing at least exactly right. I love working with Kirsty because she gets it first take every time. Oh. No cuts. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. Which makes it very easy wow. to edit. That's because Tom makes me comfortable. Sorry. 
It's true. If your presenter isn't as amazing as Kirsty and they are making a lot of mistakes and tripping up, that's where the two cameras or maybe three cameras can come into play. The important part though is as a director, if they do trip up, you know, in the middle of making something, get them to freeze, stop, don't touch anything, and then start again from that point, just so you've got that nice cut point. Otherwise, you know, people can move things and, and it's a little bit harder in the edit to cut, but having two or three cameras definitely helps. Thank you so much for joining me in this incredible cooking class series. It's been so wonderful having you along for the ride. I really hope that this has given you lots of confidence to make incredible, gut-loving, nourishing foods that are gonna support you on your ketogenic diet and lifestyle. We're done, that's right. Ah, yes! Woohoo! Well done. <laughs> ah. It's really important that everyone feels comfortable, relaxed, and is having a good time on set. And, and that's something I try and bring on every shoot. And it's on the camera people, it's on the assistants, it's on the people behind the cameras to create that vibe and that energy. So that will flow through to the person on camera. They'll feel fun, relaxed, and enjoy their time. And you'll get the best results from that. We're just juicing at the moment. We don't want to film all of the juicing parts. So we're just... Um Stop the cameras rolling and say, I thought I'd help Kirstie out in the kitchen. <laughs> By pouring a little bit of kipper. Can you, can you manage that big gun there, Tom? It's pretty massive. Yeah. Oi, okay. How much? Whoop. How much? Stop. Yeah. How much? Perfect. Look at that. Clean, nice. Clean nice. pour. Oh! So there you go, that's how we created an eight week cooking program with over 30 plus meals and recipes. As you can see, we were pretty resourceful. It's not that daunting. You can do it with two cameras, a couple of crew, and not a million dollar budget. I hope you took something away from that. And if you like these videos, please like, subscribe, comment, and get involved. We'd love to show you more. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.